Okay, looking over at the red-tailed hawk nest tree, I can see two of the uh, youngsters. Looking for it. Ah, and the third one down in the... Okay, all three are there. We got one at the top, one a little down below to the left of him, and then one in the nest. Excellent. So, okay. But anyway, I'm going to do buddy now. Okay, once again, looking at the redwood tree that has the red-tailed hawk nest in it. You've got two clearly visible, and then there, there's one that's uh, in the nest area. Doesn't mean she's not around because she's probably somewhere nearby. Yeah, look at you. Exercising those wings, making them nice and strong. Okay, we're at the back parking lot for the Lutheran Church. And just looking at uh, two of the easily visible red-tailed hawk youngsters. The third one, the last time I saw him, before we changed positions, was around the nest area. I'm not seeing him right now, but had seen all three. This guy is kind of hidden by the leaves and stuff, but this guy's standing proud. And mom's not on the tree as far as I can see, so she'll be on maybe on a nearby tree. Don't know. Oh, there we go, yes. All I had to do was move over a little bit. There is our sentry mom nearby, because the minute one of them hits the sky, she'll be right there. Just to give you a little bit of statistics. Even though they're youngsters, by the time they fly, they are the size of their adult parents. So that's two feet tall, and they have a wingspan of um, about five feet. Pretty impressive.
Okay, everything's sort of quiet down. Okay, we're back at the uh, back parking lot to the Lutheran Church, looking at the red tailed hawk nest tree. Harder to see them. There is one up there. He's just he's moving, but he's not flapping right now. I'm not seeing the other two. I'm going to continue on.